this is a beautiful spot except for the dust that would uh, come along when the other rigs were coming up the road but Scotty and I are gonna head out and go find something a little lower in elevation and hopefully something that's right on the river the river's uh, not too far for us to walk down here it's right over those trees there but we want to be able to see the river so we're gonna take off a few people are in town already um, they're gonna come back up here and probably stay so Scotty and I are gonna venture off on our own for just a day or two so we'll see you guys on the road bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time it's clear to see well we saw a campground back here so we're gonna From up here. turn around and see what it's like uh, trout limit two close to fishing yep red banks Close to fishing? Yep. Nine. 20 per night, and then day use is 10, $9 per extra vehicle. Of course, they got the bear notice and six feet uh, social distancing. It's the same as all the other ones. Self service pay station. All right, so this is campsite number six. As Scotty was saying, he's not sure if these are the kind of trees that drop sap, but it'd really be pretty and I hear the hummingbird. nice and cool. Oh, it looks like they're working, working on the campsites. I don't know, they're doing something, recreation company. Oh, there's an outhouse. That's why. Really a lot of shade through here. Nice uh, pull through. Pull, but when they want to charge you, it's empty. Yeah. Well, that's because there's so much free camping. Now look at this. This is gorgeous. Wow. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Got your own little beach here. But that water is cold. It's a nice little spot. I got a little pretty little waterfall. Yeah. Somebody was here last night. They, they left today. Oh. According to the sticker. What number is it? Six, I think. No, we were at six. Five. Oh, five. so campsite five. And then there's this one. Really tucked in there, number four. But there's no uh, access to the beach or the river. This is number three. That one would be hard to get level. Yeah. More for tenting. Oop. Yes, there are snakes up here in high altitude. I guess there are. I, he had a bad day. Oh. We yep. were just discussing whether or not there were snakes up in this high altitude. And yes, there is. There's an animal trail right there. Oh, yeah. So much for the fence, but. <laughs> I must come down to get water. Right? Nice 
these big uh, sites. The restroom, handicap, regular, so that's nice. Yeah, see, they have yep. a handicap sign on it. Yep. So I was almost thinking that yeah. one was yeah. for handicap because it had asphalt on it. This one? No, the, the oh, the other one. Side. But this one might not be bad. Uh, actually, they really have not made this very good for... I guess a wheelchair could get between those rocks down there. But that would be pretty darn level. I don't know if we'll stay here or if we're going to just keep going down. I'll just say there was some more free camping down the road. But not real sure that it's uh, near a river or anything. Now this is nice. You've got your barrier here from the road. Nice uh, fire area. Got some shade. And you got access to the river. Well, I bet many a kids have played on this uh, tree. <laughs> That's huge. Wow. Kind of mucky. Really got nice spots, I think. Mm hmm. So, so much for the theory that there's no snakes up in high altitude. I came around the bend and there was another. They're all flattened here. <laughs> And I don't know if that means that there's a lot of them, that there's two flattened on the road and the others get away. Um, there's a lot of bugs here. A lot of mosquitoes are already out today. And usually, like where we were, um, the mosquitoes didn't come out till nighttime, dusk. So we were talking to the ranger. <clears throat> Or the, he's not really the host because he lives down the road here in another campground. Um, he was telling us about a space, a, pl a sorry, a place down the road. So we're going to go check that out. <laughs> Scott, oh, the water's coming out. Now, if that's a drinking fountain, you better hope you got a partner with you to pump that thing. <laughs> yeah, it's brown water. Yeah, I bet. He was just saying that it's pretty clear. See all the way out there. <laughs> Something over here, woodpecker or something. It sounds like a woodpecker beating on metal. Mm, yeah. Wow. Gorgeous. <laughs> Sounds like the woodpecker on our roof. I think the bubble's just coming out of the ground right there. Oh, yeah. Right, there's a little bit of information if you want to pause it and read. 
Got all kinds of creatures. I thought I heard coyotes last night. Mm -hmm. Lots of things. It's breathing. All right, well, we still have to find a place to camp tonight, so. Gotta head down the road. Well, oh, those are kind of cool. We just uh, pulled over on the side of the road here. There was a little road that went down here. So we thought we'd check it out. few rocks to climb over we came down here oh this might be a little too much for the camper <laughs> yeah that one would wipe us out probably <laughs> Scotty's looking though oh well, this would be this, this would be a cool little spot to camp out uh, I can get the truck. <laughs> you want to stay here? It's pretty, isn't it? Yeah. What do you guys think? I know you guys don't really see the full picture on video. Oh, that's a good walking stick. <laughs> you could probably hug over that way. Yeah. I think the rest of our group is they're going to stay up at the other campground I think because um, they're going to ride Aja wants to ride her side by side so even though we have four wheel drive eh, with the camper I'm just not sure we're going to go for it so we'll see I'll stand out here and uh, spot Scott and make sure uh, he doesn't hit that big one. I'm giving them a, I'm giving them the thumbs of which way to come and which way. Okay, you'll come right between them. Come on, you're good on both sides. Huh? Huh? You're good. This is that big one. Okay, now we're going to go in here. Take it slow. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, you got to go now, but it's, you're hitting our exhaust pipe. <laughs> well, we've been to our exhaust pipe a little bit. That's all right. <laughs> you bent our you bent our exhaust pipe up. <laughs> Getting out, Scott, is going to be hard. You're not going to you're going to have to turn around in here, and you're going to have to go back out that way. Because if you go back out, you'll rip that right off. Yeah, my back up. Yeah. Okay, so we're in here. Ooh, sorry. I just go forward just a little bit more. And then what we'll do tonight, just to make sure we don't get any mice in our rig, we'll put lights all up underneath here, all their solar, solar lights. Um, hopefully that will keep them out. Perfect.
that's our home for the night. Perfect. A baby. Wow. Look at that. I don't know if I've ever been that close to one. They don't seem to bother him at all. And the bird we are watching, I'll come over here and show you guys. We were watching the diving bird. We're watching the diving bird. Yeah. Who, uh, Scotty just watched a National Geographic uh, show on these little birds. The little diving bird birds. Yeah. Oh, there he goes. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, come on, come on. Get back here. <laughs> he just about floated downstream. <laughs> Sitting out here next to our pope propane fire. You can have regular fires, but we're more comfortable with this. Um, you notice there's some ash in there. We've been picking some sage. I'm putting it on there and uh, letting it smoke because it's uh, keeping the flies away. So You're doing a great job. Yeah. All right, guys. We're going to finish off our evening sitting here by the river. If any more wildlife comes up, we'll show you.